Alright guys, welcome to your ninth iPhone development tutorial and in the last tutorial we built this pretty cool program that we can enter stuff on the screen. I mean we can enter our name and our super secret password but check this out. Whenever we want to exit this program and you know have the keyboard disappear I mean check this out. This number pad doesn't even have a button to make it disappear and whenever we click done on this regular keyboard it doesn't work. So we're like, WTF, what's up with that? So in this tutorial, we're going to be adding some functionality to this done button and actually making the keyboard disappear once you click it. And for this password, what users usually do is whenever they're done with this, they just click anywhere in the background. See, I'm clicking right now, but this still isn't disappearing. 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 So that's uh, what we're going to be doing, adding some functionality when you click the background to make the number pad disappear. So go ahead and quit your iPhone simulator. And of course, we're going to need to add two methods for this. So go ahead and open your interface file again. And we're going to add the first method is to handle whenever we click the done button to make the keyboard go away. So IB action and just name this go away keyboard not bad and as a parameter of course it takes ID sender and just go ahead and copy all of this because I don't feel like typing it all again and for the action we want whenever you tap the background to make any keyboard disappear go ahead and click tap background make sure I spelled it right close enough just like that so go ahead and copy these headers and go ahead and paste it right under your synthesize methods and now let's go ahead and we can go and add the body so add your curly braces because uh, we don't want to forget to get rid of that semicolon now what method can we use to make the keyboard go away well check this out first of all we need that sender which is the object and the method to make the keyboard go away is resign first responder. Now you're saying, all right, what the heck is going on here? Your first responder to any object is pretty much any controls that are being used to control that object is the first responder. And since we are using the keyboard on the text field, that keyboard is the first responder. So whenever we resign it, it pretty much means get rid of my keyboard. So pretty much your keyboard is your first responder and when we resign it, it means get rid of it. So that's all we need to do in that method. Pretty cool, huh? But now we want to take care of that number pad. And whenever we tap the background, we want the number pad to disappear. Actually, let's set it up so when you tap the background, no matter if you have the regular keyboard or the number pad open, either of them disappear. So in order to do this, let's go ahead and Whatever one you click, remember, we have two outlets or objects, our name and our password. So go ahead and click name, resign, first responder, and this is, if you have your regular um, keyboard open, it's going to get rid of that one. And for your password outlet, if you have that open, it gets rid of that one. So it pretty much gets rid of all keyboards whenever you tap the background pretty cool huh so that's actually all the code that we had to write right there so go ahead and build this and save before building save all make sure we don't have any bugs and actually let me go ahead and quit my interface builder because I already had it open and open it again just in case you know something changed so go ahead and open your interface builder now and now let's go ahead and attach the functionality to our objects so what we want to do is in text field 1, now that we have an action to go along with that, go ahead and open your connections inspector. And that's this little tab right here. So now we want to say, all right, whenever we click the done key or the return key, then we want to call that method go away keyboard or keyboard go away, whatever we called it. So the event for that is did end on exit. I know that, I mean, why did they name it that? I have no idea but this is the event whatever happens when you click the done key pretty much means done key so what we want to do is hold down this little circle drag it over to files owner and click go away keyboard now whenever we click the done key on the keyboard 
when we're working with this object, it's going to call that method go away keyboard and the keyboard's going to go away. Pretty sweet, huh? But now things get a tidbit complicated, but not too complicated. So we don't really, we can't really attach any actions to this background because, I mean, it's not a control, it's just a regular background. So here's what we need to do. In order to create a control from this, well, here's what we need to do. Go ahead and click your view button right here. Now your view pretty much is all this gray stuff. It's all the background. And by default, it's just a view. You can just look at it. I mean, it doesn't have any functionality or anything. Well, what we want to do is go to our identity inspector. We're saying, all right, how the heck do you get to this? Go ahead and since your view is selected, go to tools, identity inspector, or you can go ahead and click this little tab right here. Now you can see, by default, this view, this background right here, is pretty much in the class UI view. It does nothing, it's just a view. What we want to do is in this class, make it a UI control. So now, instead of being a view, it's now a control. It now has the ability to call action methods, and now can be treated as a control. So now, in your connections inspector, what you want is Let's go ahead and use touchdown. So as soon as they touch it, what do you want to occur? Go ahead, touchdown, drag it over to file owner, and click tap background. So never now when anyone ever touches that background, it calls that method tap background, which pretty much gets rid of any keyboard. So I mean, anything else we need to do? No, that's it. So go ahead and of course save your interface builder file now go to Xcode build and run and let's check out our brand new program alright type in a new username B U C K Y and now click done O M G this keyboard actually works but here here's the true test go ahead and enter our super 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 what super my password super secret password and mine's seven 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 eight five four one yeah you didn't know that did you and now go ahead and click away in our background oh my god this program is brilliant responding exactly how we wanted it to so that is how you add some methods so you can actually get rid of your keyboards again your first responder is your keyboard so whenever you resign it and pretty much means get rid of keyboard that's a key thing I want to teach you guys in this tutorial and also aside from that is that you can actually change the class of your background from a regular view class which pretty much means I can just look at it to a control class and now it has the ability to call actions or methods so uh, that's it for this tutorial uh, you can go ahead and play with your program I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the app store and probably make millions from it so uh, thank you guys for watching if you have any questions Leave me a question in my forum and I'll be happy to answer it for you. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.